Today I'm diving deep into Kling 1.6's image to video feature, showing you step by step how to transform your static images into stunning professional quality videos. This latest update brings massive improvements in prompt adherence, motion quality, and video resolution. You'll notice smoother animations that flow naturally, higher consistency in fine details, and an overall polished look that rival professional editing software. From vibrant transitions to cinematic effects, Kling 1.6 ensures your videos stand out. I'll also explore how to tweak settings for optimal results and give you tips on getting the most out of these new features. By the end of this guide, you'll be ready to create eye-catching videos effortlessly. Let me show you exactly how to get started. Head over to Kling's website and navigate to the AI video section. If you're new to Kling, make sure to create your account first. They're currently offering an insane amount of free credits, so you'll want to jump on this while you can. I'll drop the link in the description below. At the top of your screen, you'll see a drop-down menu. Make sure to select version 1.6 to access all the latest features. Click on image to video and you'll be ready to begin your project. While version 1.5 still offers some unique features like start and end frames, version 1.6 delivers significantly higher quality results that make it worth using even without those options. Now you'll see an upload button on your screen. The higher quality your starting image, the better your final video will be. Kling 1.6 excels at maintaining consistent details and textures throughout the animation, so starting with a clean, high-resolution image makes a huge difference. Let me demonstrate this with an example. Here's a portrait photo I've uploaded. Notice how detailed the facial features are. When we generate a video from this, Kling 1.6 maintains every detail perfectly. This level of consistency was a major challenge in previous versions, but 1.6 handles it beautifully. Once your image is uploaded, it's time to craft your prompt. Let me share a game-changing prompt structure that's been working incredibly well for me. Think of it like a recipe. You want to layer your instructions in a specific order. Start with your main subject and action, add camera movement details, specify lighting and atmosphere, then include any special effects. And this is absolutely crucial in version 1.6. Unlike previous versions, 1.6 follows instructions with incredible precision. With a basic prompt like Woman Moves, you'll get generic motion that might not serve your needs. Instead, write, Woman gracefully turns as the camera slowly pans from left to right. This level of detail helps the AI understand exactly what you're looking for. Let's try another example. For this landscape image, instead of writing, Camera moves through scene, all right, camera smoothly glides forward along a winding dirt path through rolling green hills, gradually revealing a panoramic view of distant forests and mountains under a soft, golden evening light. You can see how the AI responds with much more cinematic and purposeful movement. The lighting, atmosphere, and camera motion all work together perfectly. Looking below your prompt, you'll find several important settings that will impact your final video. Set the video length, I recommend starting with 5 seconds, as it maintains better consistency than longer durations. Choose the professional mode for the highest quality output. You'll also see a creativity slider that lets you control how closely the AI follows your prompt. Keep it at 0.5 for balanced results. With everything set up, hit that generate button. Now let me show you some examples of what's possible with different types of images. To take your videos to the next level, include camera movement details in your prompt. Specify things like camera slowly zooms in or smooth tracking shot. Kling 1.6 handles these complex movements with remarkable stability. No more unpredictable camera work. Watch this example. I'll generate the same scene with and without camera movement instructions. The difference is striking. You can also enhance your results by including lighting and atmosphere details. Instead of person walking, try person walking through soft, ambient lighting, gentle shadows cast across their face. These details help Kling 1.6 create more polished, professional-looking videos. For character animations, Kling 1.6 excels at maintaining consistent facial features and expressions. Let's try this image of a person with a specific expression. In the prompt, I'll specify maintains neutral expression while turning head. Subtle smile forms gradually. 
Watch how smoothly it handles these subtle changes while keeping every facial feature consistent. When your video is ready, you can preview it directly in the interface. If you're happy with the results, just click the download button to save your video in high quality. The text to video feature is where Kling 1.6 really shines. When crafting your prompt, start by setting the scene. Describe the environment in vivid detail, then introduce your characters. Tell the AI exactly who they are, what they're wearing, and their emotional state. Next, describe the action, what's happening in the scene. Be specific about movements and interactions. For example, instead of writing a woman walking in a city, try something like an elegant woman in a flowing red dress walks confidently through a bustling Tokyo street at night. Neon signs reflecting off rain slick pavements as the camera smoothly tracks alongside her. This level of detail helps Kling 1.6 create exactly what you're envisioning. It also handles complex movements beautifully, but you need to be precise in your instructions. Don't just say walking. Describe the pace, the style, and the purpose. The camera movement in version 1.6 is absolutely game-changing. You can create complex shots that would cost thousands to film in real life. Try something like camera starts at street level, slowly rising in a smooth vertical movement, revealing the full scale of the cityscape as it tracks the character's movement through the crowd. As you can see, the AI handles these movements really well. One of my favorite features in 1.6 is the ability to specify exact visual styles. You can request anything from photorealistic to anime inspired to oil painting effects. Just add style references in your prompt like rendered in a style reminiscent of Blade Runner meets Studio Ghibli. Kling's advanced lip sync capability is also amazing. To use this feature, first generate your video with minimal mouth movement. Once you have your base video, click on the Add Lip Sync button in the Editing panel. You can either upload your own audio file or use Kling's text-to-speech feature. The AI will automatically analyze your audio and create natural-looking mouth movements that match the speech patterns. What's impressive about version 1.6 is how it maintains facial consistency while animating the lips. There's no more awkward distortion or unrealistic movements that we sometimes saw in previous versions. To get the best results with Kling 1.6's text-to-video feature, focus on the details. Be clear about what you want, use descriptive prompts, and don't be afraid to try new ideas. The more you practice, the better you'll get at creating videos that match your vision. Start by thinking about the style, movement, and tone you want. Play around with different words to see how they change the results. Over time, you'll learn how to guide the tool and make the most of its features. With some creativity and practice, you'll be making videos that look just the way you imagined, or even better. Make sure you like and subscribe.